Good day there all, I'm a viral infection and welcome to Nikopara Volume 1. This stuff is kind of, you know, bizarre in this aspect because we've been, well, Inception has been happening with relations to Volume 0, Volume 1, and Volume 2 because the expectation of what's going to be happening in Volume 2, which is so soon, it's killing me, and... Since Volume 1 came out before Volume 0, I'm making references back to the 0 and the 1 and the, the hopes for 2. It's confusing any which way. I hope to say that this is what will make you stay. <laughs> nice. And I did explain why you cannot see me this episode. So... Revert, refer back to last episode of why the face is not here. Cheers. Oh. And Maple consist consistently loves to bring up my pun about lukewarm and tauntauns and all such. It is amazing. You are just... Mm. Okay. Huh. Weird. Trading cakes. And pie. You guys are passing over the boundaries of cake and pie. You could cause a war in the comment section if there would be a war in general. Should there be a war? A war over pastries? Not be a a stuffed war? No. A a cream war? A uh, oh, come on a bakery war? No. Hmm. Uh, shit, pastry. Ah, uh, shizen. I don't know. What? The cream puff battles. <laughs> the cream puff battles. <laughs> Yay! Pishi. Pishi. <laughs> Do what you like, don't mind me. And just like that, half an hour into opening day, and suddenly there was a sold-out sign on the door of my bakery. <sighs> Maybe it's a really good day, man. More, please. I'm back. I'm back in black. I hit the sack. Yes. What is? The, the, the fuck is it, man? You're scaring me. You, you worry me. I feel like you'd have a silver bell and you have a gold just because of your, well, bow tie things. I had just come back from shopping to find the two of them in really high spirits. I couldn't imagine what had changed so drastically in the little time I had been out. What happened? You both already said, okay, I missed that. I clarified though, I caught it. I caught it. Well, maybe they were really getting into that cat toy. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's go see. Yeah, I, I get that it's amazing, but what exactly is it? Truthfully, lead me. Lead me, my cat girls. Lead me. Pew. Faster to have a look. That's just an empty room. Chocolate and vanilla pulled me toward the empty room. To find that it was white, uh, but not not empty. Whoa! What? What, what the fuck? Whoa! What the? What the? What the fuck? Indeed. Fuck is that? The fuck is that? 
The fuck is that? Like a protective cover on your screen? Of your TV? The fuck is that? The fuck is that? The fuck is that? Why would that need to be there? You don't have much room between that wall. Why would you just hang up? The fuck? <laughs> that is not a lawful place to put that. Oh, pick up the fucking pillows. Already you have them thrown out upon the floor. <sighs> the moment the door was open, there was pink and white spread it before my eyes. Bloody hell, mate. The cards overflowed from the bed, from the floor, bed, dresser, and cushions with their antique rose design. Truly, I do love it nonetheless, but I do find it a bit impractical in some occasions, in a couple of places. There also seemed to be sweet, a sweet high-class scent wafting throughout the air. Clearly a room that wasn't here before was spread up before mine eyes. I really started to wonder if I'd somehow walk into another dimension. Nah, because that, that fucking shit would scare the shit out of me. I mean, I'd buy accept it and, like, first have a heart attack, and then want to know what is different between everything, and then figure out the differences and crave them. You know, discover everything, learn, science, and such. Sigoi Kuai Desune. Sigoi Kuai Desune. In fucking deed. My back will appreciate it, such. Now that you mention it, it has the same feel as your room back home now, huh? I found myself greatly confused as I learned against as I leaned against the wall. I remembered it was one of Shigeru's hobbies to decorate each of the cat girls' rooms to something like this and also themselves, like her dolls. Oh god. Because of the traditional patterns, Shigeru herself had the relatively normal Japanese style room, so it seemed like she poured all her effort into their rooms instead of her own. And so we can clarify. He's most likely judging me, but not like judging me as in like, well, that's a weird motherfucker. He's most likely thinking just like, well, you can do what you do, mate. <laughs> Shigure did also say that she dressed the cat girls according to her own taste too, all of them, except for Maypel. Interesting, Maypel has her own taste. Interesting. So in that occasion, would all these Nekos and all their rooms and such be like her oversized playthings? Her puppets, her dolls, her... Barbies, in other words? This is fucked up if I'm thinking about it like that. This is a game about Nekos. Just, just calm down, over-analyzing mind. Just, just be happy, self. <laughs> But what if it was? While Shigeru might have been an education freak, I'd forgotten how much she really did spoil them. Speaking of which, when did the ca that girl have time to set all this up? She must have brought this all in while I was out. That really speaks volumes about her abilities. Well, this is your room, so you use it as you wish. Indubitably. Well, you do have that expensive looking bed and all. <laughs> huh? Wait, what? What did it. Is he gonna go check his room? Oh god. It's so... Feminine. I like it, but I dislike it in the same, because I feel like my masculinity just got shot down from its, you know, like, level 2. <laughs> on a scale of masculinity, I'm not high on it, so it just got shot down even more.
ご主人ベッドも負けず劣らずバインバインのふっかふかフラフィワフィどうですどうですご主人様も嬉しいですか、uh, He's gonna have a mental breakdown. I'd laugh hysterically, but that'd be my mental breakdown, so eh. You literally have a bowl of flowers on a stool in front of the bed. And a. Why would you have that so. Like, the bed's pushed nearly against the wall, and there is a mirror right in front of it. That's gonna be weird. There's something that I would do just to look at myself and talk to myself. Yeah, I'm weird, okay? Sugar! <sighs> that is a lovely night to sky. Goddamn Counter Strike now, dude. You just cannot decide on the game you want to play. I do not feel like hiding my steam. There was no way I could just throw all the new things in the room, out all the things in the new room, I don't like details. And so I became burdened with a glorious fantasy princess room that I secretly found mischievously excitable. And, you know, I don't know, fuck it. But surprisingly, I slept extremely well, so I didn't complain. Cheers. Hey, that's a tip. Get extremely feminine rooms. Bouncy, bouncy, it's so bouncy, meow. Yeah. I'm drowning in a sea of fluffiness. Nice. Just nice. Not mornings, we said about that. Cheers. Cheers and thank you. Alright, maybe I'll take this moment to bake some more sponge cake for the shortcakes. I looked through the window onto the bakery floor and saw that the customer's traffic had calmed down a bit. By the time the clock I saw that it was almost 3 p.m. It seemed like sell that, that selling out and closing early on an open on opening day actually got us noticed quite a lot indeed. Thanks to some tweets and blog posts, word of word of mouth had spread that we were really busy the next day. And we were really nice in English is a specialty of not mine. You could argue that it was a big coincidence, but this was definitely all because of Shigire. She will be our plot motivating point. She is our convenience in this. So. When your ears twitched, so did my thumb. That was weird. We will not speak at this moment. Unless it happens again. And then I will freak out louder that next time. God, I'll start making more now then. Pew. Yo. Thank you kindly. Alright, I'll check it out later. I added a word. To think Chocolate and Vanilla are actually able to help out this much. I watched the two of them quickly and energetically, energetically engage the customers. Chocolate was enthusiastic, was as enthusiastic as always while Vanilla showed her attention to detail. They greatly contributed to the rising fame of the bakery as La Soleil's Poster Cat Girls. Nigo works, a pastor cat girls. Oh, very indubitably similar. I really didn't expect much when I sought their assistance, but they've been a real big help. Well, it's about time for a break, huh? This one is almost done anyway. 
I lightly stretched my neck side to side as I took the ingredients for the next batch and put them into the refrigerator. Get right, get Yes. Why, yes. Yes, it is. Cheesecake, indubitably. That was a very, really delayed sound. Oh, glossy. That's weird. This is because you two have been working so hard as requested. Here is your reward. Yes. And to match with your outfits, a red and blue theme to it. Have the halves accordingly. And yes, you may be stating, but her outfit is pink, not red. Shut up and accept the facts. <laughs> that it was just a comparison of blue and a pigment of such. Red, pink, either lighter or darker. Fucking, if red doesn't suit you in that occasion because of how it cut open the cherry and you will see lots of it will be a bit of pink. Good enough, mate. Aggression. The eyes of two guys was... Whoa. The eyes of two cat girls were sparkling as they looked at the red cheesecake with a delight. That was worth it to see them this happy. I sat down into a chair and poured hot water into the teapot. Ah, thoughtful. Oh, you're not Maple, I see. The new iPod? Oh, oh, I remember, I think. <laughs> oh, jeez. What? What? <laughs> I, I guess I, I could. I don't know how well. I'd be putting you to shame regardless because I am not that talented. Even though people would declare me to be so. I am a, uh, was it, humble, I suppose, when it comes to my ability. Honest is another, but also that I just... I have more doubt than anybody else. So, yeah. Just hurry up and eat it. Break time's almost over. I calmly urged them as I poured three cups of tea. As always, these two cat girls had limitless energy, but I seriously wondered if they were trying to act as silly as they were being. <laughs> Such exasperation with all those sparklies. Over exaggeration. Thoughtful nonetheless, though. Right, meow. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I made some sauces for it too. It'd help if you two could give me some feedback on them. Next matcha powder. Uh, no. I mean, that usually means it's poisoned or drugged. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, damper the mood, why don't you? Like my voice is currently. Because goddamn, I am not in the most excited mood. Do I say that with a smile on my face? That none shall see. Like a professional. Oh. I take that compliment, compliment to heart, so thank you kindly. Well, I'm a beginner, but I can at least do this. They've probably been waiting for an opportunity to praise me, so I suppose it's a good thing. After hearing the request, I actually secretly did some research on making rare cheesecakes, but I'll leave that as a secret. Cheers. <laughs> right, just basically confirming that his decision to keep you two here was a good idea. Ten out of ten, and they do it indubitably. Miss <laughs> White. You're right, you two really were a big help. There, there. I patted both them genuinely happy chocolate and the proud vanilla on the head. Don't push yourself too hard. Ah, nice. That is my amount of energy. Thank you for that vanilla. Eh, 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 don't you? Mm, you're being... I was kind of tsundere line there, but you really are more of a kundere. So, mate. 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 But. My mind just went blank. Aww. Oh, do they? <laughs> oh, great. Just gonna, just gonna. There we go. The world may never see. You enjoy that way too much, there, Vanilla. My poster cat girls were such an adorable little things. Were such adorable little things. Fucking ants want to be in there for some reason. I watched them as. Uh, what the fuck? I watched them go at it as I poured another cup of tea. Well, uh, that, that could be taken out of context quite indubitably. I can't understand why cat girls make great mascots, though. I know, right, mate? It was a hot woman and sweet to see them. It was hot woman and sweet to see them act like such happy sisters. Since you two are helping me this much, you're going to have to really study hard, right? Nine. Well, entirely opposite per <laughs> points of perceptive perception. There. Holy English! No, no. You think I'm going to retire for a few days after opening? Studying for your qualifications, do you two remember what Shigeru said, right? Upon hearing my words, their blank expressions changed as their eyes began to shine. <laughs> Quite. Yep, you two are working really hard as post girls, after all. <laughs> mean what? Does that, that, that does not mean I want to go on a date. But it means I'm gonna go on a date. Turn to each they okay joking and vanilla turn to each other with looks of amazement. Suddenly they both stood up and bent forward across the table. Oops. Extremely praiseworthy. 
Most definitely, my fellow chap. Of course, that's what I said, right? If you two weren't around, I don't think I'd be able to keep this bakery going. Just like before, I tap their heads in thanks yet again. It's because then you'd be a symbol of pride that you have earned a stature or such. Like, I'd, I'd suspect how a parent looks at their kid if they acquire a driver's license. But, you know, different, like an independent license. If that existed. Which would be entirely different and be a better system run to run things off of than the driver's license. You know, in America there's a really fucked up system. I could go on details and details about it for dialogues of just consistent, like, Star Wars cr rolling credits. But... Needless to stay, needless to state, hate it. Ah, of course, she, she agrees. Yes, yes, that was the beginning point of my lecture there. My rant, beginning rant that I decided to cut off because tangents. Yeah, I'm proud of you too, but... As your owner, I want to have proof that I raised you two well, too. I raised you two well, too. Wow. Raised the two of you well, too. Man, I don't, I don't like using two, two in... I don't like using two, two in this... I don't like using two twos in the same context, same sentence, not that far away from each other, unless it's two, two. Okay, holy crap, that English failure was amazing. That's why you two should... Work for your own sake as well. I'll also do my best alongside you two. I ruffle the hair. They close their eyes and smile even more brightly than before. E. Yes. Indubitably, I will try that, eh? Ah, uh, sure. Whether it's an amusement park or the aquarium, I'll take you to there. At least you... You showed a great consideration there, Pikachu, by remembering what they said and what they would like to do on those dates. Or what they say that they would have those. You done good. You done good. Done good, mate. Listen to those words. He remembered what they stated that they would like to do. If they earned the ability for independence. Cheers. Cheers all around. <laughs> and that's what happens. You win over the girl by simply just remembering what they, they said they'd enjoy. Well, in that case, relationships seem extremely easy, but it's not that easy. Haha! <laughs> fucking Disneyland. I mean, Little Mouse Land, Kingdom, Thane. Cheers. What? An Aurora? Like Aurora Borealis? You want to go to the North Pole? You want to. Put, just Google search them. Why don't you just Google search both of them? Wow, I'm shut in. But, you want to be an astronaut as well? Or you just you want to be a creator? Uh, with a reason, okay, are you two listening? Reason, reason. The two cat girls were lost in their own fantasy w fantasy worlds while their eyes gleamed. I never thought that they'd start dreaming of going overseas or even outer space. A cat girl's dreams obviously weren't something to make light of. They were incredible. Okay. <laughs> well, we know where your mind is, Chocola. Though granted, mine may be in the gutter, yours is not. But you don't know yet that it soon will be. Because, you know, Cashew. I know he doesn't like to show off that he has nuts, but he can't contain it all the time. <laughs> 
puns. Jesus Christ. <laughs> in 2025, there is an expedition towards Mars, but also in 2025, there is two other things that are, though, though evenly bad ass, that I know are happening. Uh, symbolically, the Animus, the Animus, no, not the Animus, uh, the Matrix, which is actual title is going to be the Human Brain Simulation Program. Definitely wanting to find a way to get into that. If you know anything about me, you could see the obvious reasons to it. And also, lightsabers. Bro. Life is good. When we take in those credit time. Uh, when we take in those credentials for it. But only difference is, we have to wait nine years from this point in time. That is my difficulty. It's... A struggling climb to get to a point in time where it's going to be good. I'll smash and shit. Love to make it. But with that stated, this episode is dragged down for quite some time, so I'll see you metaphorically in the next one. Sign out, I'll have to say, any form, any which way you wish to say, good day.